All Powers 200 watt portable solar panel and this is the new mono crystal inversion. What I'm going to do is I'm not only going to unbox this, we're going to take this outside and I'm going to hook it up to the EcoFlow Delta Max and we're going to take a look at how much wattage we can intake in the EcoFlow Delta Max at high noon on a sunny day. So we have these, these straps and clips here and then we also have a handle on the top here. And this is one of many uh, stands behind the unit. It has like a flexible fabric which allows you to get the best orientation possible against the sunlight. On the other side we have a pouch which has all the cables and adapters. This looks like an Anderson cable to MC4 and this is just the basic native MC4 connector right here. And you have various amounts of adapters but what I'm going to be using is I have a cable that goes from MC4 to XT60 which is the connection for the EcoFlow Delta Max and I'm going to be taking this outside and we're going to take a look at it right now. We are currently in my backyard right now. You can actually see me unbuckling and unfolding the portable solar panel and in the background you can also see the basement window. I actually ran a hole through the window using a grommet so I'm able to run the XT60 cable for the EcoFlow Delta Max through that window to in turn hook up to the portable solar panel. I'm actually using a soup can to position the solar panels the most optimal facing the sun. The idea behind that is when you put the soup can perpendicular up against the solar panel based on the angle of the solar panel, you do not want to cast a shadow. That means that the sun is directly shining perfectly at the portable solar panel. So I actually found out that the existing stand of the All Powers portable solar panel was not capable enough to reduce the angle enough to get the best position. So luckily enough, I had this piece of wood that was actually being used as a small shelf, I think for shoes or something like that, to keep them off the ground. But I used that and I was able to lower the solar panel even more so that I can get that perfect angle. So that's just one thing that I wanted to add is that there's going to be certain circumstances where the stand that is built into the portable solar panel is not going to be the best option. I'm just about done running the cable through the basement window and I'm actually in the process of connecting the MC4 cables up to the back of the portable solar panel. I will say I really do like the overall design of this portable solar panel and how everything's laid out. The cables that connect to it seem of decent quality and I've had no issues plugging them in and unplugging them uh, from the MC4 connections. I have the XT60 connection to MC4 going from the solar panel through the window. I have the EcoFlow Delta Max right here so I'm going to plug that XT60 connection into the back of it and let's see how much wattage we get. Alright so I did the best I could. I used the can to kind of get the best orientation possible out of the solar panels and I'm getting on a 200 watt panel right now I'm getting about 120 watts. If that changes in the near future I will definitely let you know. So right now I'm starting to see a slight change, a slight increase. We're getting from, instead of 120 we're getting 139, 138 just barely touching 140 watts. So this is the mono crystalline panel by All Powers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exact same hookup and I'm going to connect the polycrystalline panels to see if we get a better output or a worse output. The monocrystallines are supposed to be newer and they're supposed to, in my eyes, perform better than the polycrystalline, but we will uh, check that out right now. <laughs> 